Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about root resorption. Root resorption, as many people know, I spent six years in a PhD of molecular biology studying the cause of root resorption. And what is root, root, root resorption? It's the destruction of the calcified tissues and also now the American Association of Endodontics call it it's a condition. I learned that the late 70s, early 80s by Dr. Silva Herzog, that it was another condition just like cracked tooth syndrome. But this case I'm gonna present to you is very close to my heart also, because to me it's a crime. And I wanna send a message to the oral surgeon in Bishop, California, who did this. My patient authorized me to present the case. I'm not gonna say her name and any particular information about her. But she came to my office and I literally wanted to die because she came with this image. When you look at the image here, it's a tooth that has this black spot. I hope you're looking at this spot. This spot is due to resorption. When it's inside the root, you're gonna have literally a healthy tooth here. The tooth is gonna be healthy, but it's gonna be around, it's gonna be like a small area, like a round area that in the x-rays, we're gonna go back now to my presentation. You're gonna see in the x-rays now, a round area dark, like if it was an infection. Below that, this is the root of the patient. And now you see this dark area is an infection. I have no idea what they did in here. If they took the x-ray maybe with some instrument, I don't know what happened. But there is one thing I cannot forget about this situation. The oral surgeon told this patient that this tooth have no solution other than extraction. And I wanted to tell this oral surgeon that with a simple root canal, not even using MTA, which is mineral trioxide, which is used for root resorption since the beginning of the 80s, Dr. Toravine Jab discovered that and is used by them. And many endodontists probably were not using. I was very lucky that I was teaching and I was able to start working with the material. And this material now, there's plenty of molecular biology studies, but internal resorption has 99% of success, just like a root canal well done or an implant well done nowadays. However, keeping your natural teeth is the most important. The extraction of this tooth for me it's a crime. I'm happy the patient didn't give me the name of the oral surgeon, but I wanted to tell all my colleagues that when you see something that you're gonna jump and say, take the tooth out, please get a second opinion. Just like me, I do endodontic surgery, but I don't get involved in the space of the oral surgeon. The oral surgeons are capable to do extremely difficult surgeries, and I don't understand why this oral surgeon did not think about to save in this tooth because it's really internal resorption is a very predictable root canal treatment that they can do. This is more difficult. And you know the interesting part? This image shows the tooth is extracted already. And then they place some bone here and they traumatize the patient by telling her that they don't think that she's gonna have an implant. Luckily, she came to see Dr. Frank Bijak, which is an excellent prosthodontic that I have at the honor to work together and we talk about the treatment planning. When he showed me the case of our patient, I was, I'm still upset as you can see, but now we have to move on and tell you this tooth, which is interesting, is worse. He didn't ask her to strike this teeth, but he was gonna strike all these teeth and of course place implants. This is a reparation I did with surgery later. That is not important other to know that when I opened the flap, to cover the resorption, the external resorption on this patient was not even a big deal. The CT scan, when they show me the CT scan and we talk about this external resorption, it was not as big as probably the oral surgeon thought. So these two teeth 
where maybe he wouldn't know, but this one, he could save it. So I don't want it to see more the tooth other than this is a different view and look how different, when you have a root in the tooth, this is normal, okay? If you look at the, at the images here, this tooth is normal, but if you see this, it looks like a little destroy the anatomy of this tooth. And I want you to learn that because when you go to a dentist, go to your images, get involved in your treatment. And this is a disturbing image of external resorption. However, there is a treatment. I've been working on this since 1995. And this treatment works and it works successful. I have a follow-up of 15 years and Dr. Richard Schwartz also in, um, in another state, is doing these treatments for the longest time. I was looking for the reception in the clinical part when I was doing diagnosis, and it still was not as bad as they thought it was. So every image of x-ray, it looks really damaged here. However, I promise you, when I did the surgery, it wasn't that bad. This patient is extremely happy now. We did a root canal on the patient, and we, when we finish, this is the root canal already finished. Look at the image, it's all the way to the end of the root. And then there's a space where you can see the resorption right here. And this is where we place the MTA. So I place MTA all these areas since the beginning of the apical third in the root. And then I went up, 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 up to the coronal part, as you can see here. And then what happened is we put a composite around here is Gerestore which is gonna be um, involved after the surgery. I will tell you what happened. So this is the case where I left also in the other teeth. There were two teeth involved on the front, one on the left, one on the side, and the, on the right. And in this area also has MTA. We placed more MTA and then Jerry store. And after the Jerry store, we saw the patient, we did a surgery on that patient, and when you look at this, I have her for surgery, I fill out all this space, I did a surgery, and when you see the finished product of all this, imagine the tooth is intact, and you will see in the future, I will talk about some cases that have more than 10 years with this type of situation. So my message to everybody of our colleagues, please look for information if they look at this program, but you as a patient, go to the internet and look for root resorption. Root resorption, especially external, which many people doesn't understand can be safe. Nowadays, this is a savable. I have a friend, Dr. Chisikovsky in Mexico City that sent me a patient long time ago for root resorption. And this is probably 15 years. The patient has been very successful. So I am gonna tell you today, Please, when you hear you have root resorption, they're gonna take your tooth out, don't do it. Why resorption happen? Sometimes the braces are too tight and some of our teeth, the genetics doesn't have the strength to tolerate it and the cells that produce bone have to destroy bone first to produce a new bone. So when they have an injury like tightening the braces too tight, the, the cells go and start looking for, this, for saving that area. And they start destroying bone and producing more bone and start destroying teeth instead of bone. They don't know the difference between the tooth and the bone and the hydroxyapatite is the same. So the cells don't know, but you have to be aware and ask your dentist, you know what? In my braces, can you please take me some x-rays every month? Just take a look at my teeth and I'm sure they will do it. And also is the most important part cause of this is trauma. Trauma can create after certain days, we're gonna talk about a case in another episode where the trauma can cause you root resorption and the tooth can be dissolved or there is a fracture. But for now, I tell you that if you hear root resorption, just find another opinion but if you don't find anyone, I will help you find it wherever you are in the world. Just send me a message in the YouTube channel, Dr. Fanny Jackman, or send me a message in Instagram or TikTok. If you have any questions, send it to us. I will be very happy to answer all your questions. Thank you very much. And I hope that oral surgeon never ever recommend extraction again. Thank you. <laughs>